everybody. Thank you for clicking on the video today. I have just a bit of a surprise midweek pull. I was actually pulling a reading offline on your twin flames. And I just thought, you know, why not? I'll just hit record and see uh, if anybody out there wants to hear this midweek update. Well, okie dokie then. So I'm Darlene. Thank you again for tuning in. And I have obviously already pulled the card, so we'll just go through this. And let me see one thing here before I get started. By the way, thank you again for all those who interact with my videos. If you hit that like button, I'm ever so grateful. I am just getting started here on YouTube, so all that matters. If you like my readings, please subscribe. And also, I do um, deceased loved ones readings. Typically, I release those on Saturdays. And then the Twin Flame readings typically come out on Sunday. But I, like I said, sometimes during the week I check in, and um, that's what this one is. And also, I just posted uh, uh, just or will, I think I will have it posted before you see this one, a uh, Scorpio reading. So check those out too. Thank you, thank you. Now, I have two sets of cards here as I typically do. One for your Divine Masculine and then for the Divine Feminine. So I'll start with the Divine Masculine. Again, you have heard me say this before if you've been here. This is not about gender. If I say he or she, it's because that's what's on the card, or the energy is masculine or feminine. It is not about gender. Okay. Your person is not happy right now. This is the Ten of Cups in reverse. And, and I'm going to run through this a little, hopefully a little faster um, than I usually do. I know it's dark, and I hope you can see me well. Something that they were hoping... Uh, a new beginning is either delayed or not happening and this can be money also this can mean somebody's money is not good there's no balance in the situation wherever they are whatever they're dealing with um, and I think this I interpret this not all readers that divine intervention either has already happened and I remember we had a tower card in one of your readings recently but I think maybe what I'm sensing out this is the dust is settling or has settled, and but there's still no balance here in this situation. And again, this is what your divine masculine is dealing with. This is what they're telling me they're dealing with. That whatever they're dealing with, there's a great deal of disappointment for them. They are not happy. They are potentially refusing a cup that's being put in front of them. And we know cups are emotions, um, feelings. They're... They're either, um, there's not any truth here in this situation, or this could be disappointed about something where there was an untruth. This could also be cutting through something. Um, maybe what happened, um, well, let me see. I'm looking at the cards around it. <coughs> So this could be that a disappointment happened because of some lack of truth in a situation that had to do with a reconciliation or an awakening. This can also be, like I said, this, maybe this is your person. Maybe your person is not able to see the truth about their own awakening, about their own, you know, the twin flame journey, about their own journey here. They're uh, maybe just not able to face the truth and, and their own growth, which is an awakening. They are losing hope. They or have lost hope in their wishes and dreams coming true. And I think they've, it's almost like, and I don't usually get this off the magician reverse to me, is, you know, it can be a con man. It can be... <laughs> Someone manifesting, but not from a good place. And so, I almost feel like this is... <laughs> maybe this person, and, and this is not something you typically get off of this card, but maybe this person is realizing that they weren't coming from a good place. When they manifested, whatever has happened here, 
and that they need to reassess. Maybe that's what's happening here. Um, you know, that they're, they haven't been manifesting from a good place. This can also be, and I don't usually talk about this in my readings, but this can also be someone who, like I said, come in or dark, dark magic, dark energy. So I understand it better. Now, I was curious about this Ten of Cups because it came out in, re oops, in reverse. And I wanted to know what that was. I asked, what is that? What, what is it that this person's not happy about? And then, and so I got the, um, I clarified with this rather weight death. And I got the Five of Swords. So this to me is self-sabotage, which kind of leads me back to this message I was feeling here and the energy off of this card. This is self-sabotage, but it's, it's winning at all costs. It's, you know, I don't care what I have to do to these people as long as I win. And it's, you know, it's ego, it's pride. So they're unhappy about potentially what they, whoops, they did, their own self-sabotage. Um, they're, okay, okay. Let me, let me stop for a second, because this is important. The original cards that I pulled here, at the bottom of the deck, is the Queen of Wands in reverse. So the Queen of Wands in reverse is, and I just realized my mic's not on. This, I know y'all hate that when I forget it. I'm sorry. My bad. I know that's better, right? So I apologize. I just hit the record button, wasn't thinking. So the Queen of Wands is somebody who's, to me, she's volatile, she's needy, she's selfish, she's self-absorbed, um, all of those things. And so when she's in reverse like this, she can cause some trivial with a capital T. So if, again, um, we've talked about this, I don't have it on their side, but I do have some cards on your side that might indicate that there was an infringing party. And this queen is my uh, uh, third party queen. And I know that in the previous readings, we have had that come up. And so that's why I'm leaning toward that's what this means. That this person, your person, the Divine Masculine's third party, if that is your situation, um, that that's who this is talking about, that they're dealing with. Because um, some of these Masculines left you, the Divine Feminine, to go and be with this third party. Um, and so now what I'm seeing is they're not happy with that decision. Um, you know, their, their hopes and wishes have, are failing here. They're disappointed. There's not any truth here. Um, so, I've, so now back to what I was saying. I was clarifying the Ten of Cups in reverse, and I got the Five of Swords. So it feels to me, um, and, and just the next few cards down, I get... Guess who comes out? Well, actually, the next one down after this Queen of Wands. So I just feel like that it's telling me a repeating message here that this person is not happy because of a Queen of Wands and that they're making plans. Now, this is, we know this can be the Twin Flame card. <clears throat> it can also be a marriage card. And the reason I'm going to lean toward that is because of the three cards here that I got in a row. This person who is self-sabotaged because of a Queen of Wands is making plans regarding a marriage that is, you know, it's, in, it's upside down, it's not good, it's not happy to become single because they want to bring their cup of love. I'm pulling these as they came out <clears throat> and make a choice in love so they're moving away from something that was uh, a, a new beginning that failed. In other words, this is the fool in the reverse. To me, that's they're not willing to take a risk anymore, and they're putting an end to it, or they want change. They want change because they're not willing to fight for this anymore. So um, that is what I get from there. And then, there, again, that Queen of Wands comes up again over here. So I just wanted to make that point <clears throat> that it's an important card in this reading 
Now, yeah, it can represent energy, but as you've heard me say before, queens and kings to me in my readings represent people. So now I'm going to read your side. You're having a hard time moving away from this person. This is the six of swords in reverse. In the upright, it means moving on, moving away, moving to calmer waters, but it's in the reverse. So I think you're having a hard time moving away from it. And <clears throat> down here in the bottom, we know, we see why, but you're possibly either, you're having a hard time moving away because either you felt this person was your stability, your, you know, your queen of pentacles, your, you know, your, a good person. Let me leave it like that. But more, but I feel like more applicably, is that a word? <laughs> the meaning that applies better might be that um, you're trying, you're not able to move away, so you're focusing on your money. That's what the energy around fit. You're focusing on work, your money, something to distract you, to get you away from this conflict. So you're not thinking about this conflict anyway. You are ready to move on. This is the five of ones in reverse. You're ready to move away from this conflict because we had the magician twice and both times it's in the reverse. So I think you feel like this person maybe was a con man. You feel like you've been conned. You feel like this person uh, obviously did not do right by you. Is that the way we say that? But I think also another message I get from that, <clears throat> you feel like you were not able to manifest what you wanted. That's what I feel. You were not, you, it's hard for you to move away. You couldn't manifest what you wanted, but then the truth came out. The truth of this situation came out. You haven't had a victory. You weren't able to manifest a victory. These cards were next to each other. <clears throat> And you're not done healing. This card came out sideways, not reverse, not upright. So you're in the process, that tells me, of trying to heal, but you're not there yet. <clears throat> and the truth cut, the truth cut, but it also enabled you to set you free, to set you, uh, this is the, I always want to call her the Queen of Pentacles, but they're very, the energy of these two cards is very similar to me, but this is the minor, um, or kind of version of the Empress card. She's the Nine of Pentacles, if I could get that out of my mouth. It's at the end of the day, I'm a little tired, so forgive me. She, you know, is independent. This is called the Single Person's Card. She's independent, she's wealthy, healthy, smart, entrepreneur, whatever. She's got, uh, she doesn't need anyone. And what set you down that path is this broken heart this person caused you. This person clearly broke your heart. That's these two cards. This, oh, <laughs> oh God, I'm not going to go down the floor. That's the, <clears throat> excuse me. No, I'm not going to go get it. You're not finished healing from this three of swords. You felt like this person was your soulmate. Someone, this, this can be nostalgia you're thinking back you're remembering the good times you had thinking back on those memories it can also be that you felt so strongly about this person you thought that they were your soulmate even could be from a previous life that's some you know <clears throat> that maybe even you were married to this person in the past in another lifetime but you felt about them as if they would be this person for you that they could be you know that they're your twin I mean to get these two cards right next to each other nostalgia or soulmate card next to the twin flame card so you really love this person a lot but now you have clarity you've gotten clarity about the situation that's the seven of cups in reverse because of drum roll please queen of wands in reverse a third time in this reading so that's why i said pay attention to that card it was significant and why it, she's in reverse because lying and cheating and deception that stabbed you in the back, stabbed you in the back and put you out in the cold. And I just pulled those cards right off the bottom of the deck, just as they were, and y'all know by now that most of my 
reading the surface energy comes from the top of the deck and when I flip it over I get deeper into the energy by pulling the cards off the bottom <clears throat> and I think this has caused some emotional turmoil at, at a minimum uh, instability um, and you've broken up I feel like this is the lovers in reverse that you've broken up with the person that it was you know the, the ten of cups typically means you know it's a it's a very happy card now they had the, they had the ten of cups in reverse you have it in the upright but this can almost be like too much of a good thing so I think you thought they were your ten of cups and then you realize after this breakup that that was an illusion you're I think you're secretly hoping they're going to communicate with you <clears throat> But you also know that, and this is the um, Hierophant in verse, that I'm not going to tell you the typical meaning. I think you're hoping, this can also be a marriage or relationship, you're hoping that this person, that this relationship is, in other words, the Hierophant in verse could be a breakup in a relationship or a marriage. And I think that's what you were hoping, that this person would communicate that that's what had happened but that you did not receive that communication and apparently that's not the case as of yet now let me um well i am looking yeah the ten of pentacles y you were hoping that they were your you know your everything your happy ending your happy home but it's in reverse <clears throat> could mean that this person affected your money in some way that, that maybe you were depending on them in some way for um, an income or they'd made some promise about that and that has come to life whatever that was has come to light now because of a tower moment and somebody's ego and pride and selfishness got in the way and now you're walking away from that and you're getting repeated you're walking away because you were disappointed well there we have that now um i think i'll take this deck let me put this one back in here and ask you know i often ask what this divine masculine will do i wish y'all would tell me in the comments would you like what would you like me to ask would you like me to ask like advice for you or would you rather me ask what your divine partner's going to do you know what leave me a comment i can't please all the people all the time but i will try that i want to do what my i want to you know certainly try to give you content that you want to watch um all right so at the moment i don't see the same thing I've gotten for a while. I see no action here. And these readings are timeless because people come in and out of the Twin Flame journey at different times. So depending on when you find this reading as to what's going on in your story. So I just keep telling the story and sometimes they get a little stalled. <clears throat> and that's what this feels like right now. It kind of feels stalled. But I will ask, what actions might the Divine Masculine take toward the Divine Feminine, if any? And let's see what comes out, okay? All right, Spirit, please show me what actions might this Divine Masculine take toward the Divine Feminine. You are not even, uh, you're not even going to believe it. You won't. This card just slipped out. The Queen of Wands in reverse again. Four times, four, four times in this reading. So if this person is dealing with the Queen of Wands in their environment, she has taken over this reading. And that also means, can mean, the energies, uh, although I'm going to just leave that out. <clears throat> oh my God. And when that flipped out, you know, it split the deck. And look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Reconciliation or judgment card. And <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> and the Magician in the Upright. What's under that? Hmm. So maybe this person, you know, this could also be telling. Let me let me just say this. You know what? I'm going to ask. <clears throat> just one second. Okay, this is interesting because I'm getting repeat cards, but now some of them are reversed. 
I want to know more. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Why, how, what, does, what do you mean by this Queen of Wands, Spirit? If this is the action the Divine Mansion is going to take, what does that mean? Are they going toward a Queen of Wands, or is their behavior like this reversed Queen of Wands? Show me, please, Spirit. Hmm. Well, this is you giving me more information, uh, okay, on the situation. It's it's not really answering my question. The Queen of Wands. I think this is saying your divine masculine, who I take to be the King of Pentacles, has gone toward this Queen of Wands, like we saw over here, and there's a whole lot of conflict about who. Drum roll, please. The Empress. That's the Divine Feminine in my Twin Flame readings. The Empress. So they're experiencing a lot of conflict. Now, at the bottom of the deck, I did get the Hope card. You know, the, the, the star, excuse me. It's, you know, wishing on a star, your hopes and dreams coming true. You're hoping, you're pouring, you know, into the... Mm, I know I stopped a mid-sentence. Hold on a second. But they're also having to face truths here. Now, Temperance card in this deck, it's saying is, <clears throat> you remember it was reversed over here in the Divine Masculine? So this could mean that Divine Intervention is in the future for this relationship. That could be what that means because it's in the upright. Um, Yeah, but I just don't see because the hangman here is in reverse. I don't, so that means somebody's not really working on their, getting their new perspective. I'm not, I'm not, I just want to ask. I've got to ask. Come on, Spirit. Tell me more about this. Tell me what this Divine Masculine might do besides this Queen of Wands. Talk to me. Thank you. Well, all right. <clears throat> The Hierophant has come out. Now, again, this can be convention. It can be tradition. It can be commitment. I did ask about the Queen of Wands. Is this person wanting to commit to the Queen of Wands, or is this person wanting to commit to my divine feminines? Spirit, show me, please. Clarify this Hierophant. Show me this uh, Hierophant, please, Spirit. All right, come on. Sometimes they just don't want to give us the answer. Oh, there we go. All right. <clears throat> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thankfully. <clears throat> well, I'm going to tell you this. Your person is hurting. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. One second. There's two ways I can read this. That's why it took me so long. I asked the question, you heard me. Who or what is he moving away from? So I get these three cards. Hierophant, commitment of some kind, tradition. <clears throat> the Nine of Swords can, can be... 
a lot of fighting, it can be miscommunication, it can be no communication because of an ending in a relationship or something that you thought was stability and it can also be because money. So this could tell me <clears throat> that this situation with this Queen of Wands has, maybe they can't end it, they're stuck because of money. You know, if this is a marriage they're trying to end and they know they're gonna be poor as a church mouse when they get out of it, or maybe they just haven't unraveled it all. You know, it takes time to unravel all that. So that could be telling me the Ten of Wands is underneath, directly underneath the Hierophant, which I'm inclined to believe tells me that that is the committed relationship if your person is in a relationship over here. I don't, now this is, if you're in this committed relationship already with this person, then you shouldn't be looking at this reading. I don't know why you're here, but okay. <laughs> so I'm inclined to believe that that is the Queen of Wands, and at the bottom of the deck, they're telling me a whole other message. So, <clears throat> again, I said there was two ways to read this. I want to put one more card. I just knew it. I knew it. I knew it. All right. The devil. I think they're trying to put an end to a toxic relationship on their side that is not making them happy. Okay, goodness. Yeah, there's no love. And I think, let me put this back, so I've just run out of room on the table here. <clears throat> They're thinking about you because guess who's here? Remember this Queen of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So, and they realize that their plans with you did not go according to how they planned, that they've broken your heart and they're having trouble moving on too. They're having trouble letting go of you just like you were having trouble letting go of them because of a tower moment that happened. But they're, now they do have, <clears throat> they, they want to, they want to move on. This can also mean communication. They're feeling very remorseful about this ego and pride and winning at all costs behavior that, remember, that clarified this um, Ten of Cups in reverse. They are the wounded warrior. They're trying to hold on here. They're trying to, you know, the, there's things that are coming to light. Now, I did tell you, let me put this back. I didn't put them back correctly. Let me do this um, because there was a different way to read this, and I wanted to do that. Let me put these back. Got them upside down. Yeah, that goes that way. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now, these came out like this. So if you're if you think your person is not in or you know that your person's not in another relationship with somebody else because <clears throat> I have to read, you know, this for people who know that then the commitment this is talking about is with you that they were I think frankly afraid that I think that they were you know there could be some mental instability here your person could simply be afraid of committing honestly. And so before they could commit, because they were afraid of that, they put an end to it. It could just be that they're afraid of commitment. They um, were afraid they couldn't be the stable partner that you wanted, that there would be um, maybe even fights over money, maybe you didn't agree about that somehow, or they couldn't meet your expectations. <clears throat> because when I look at this, a little differently like from like said, your perspective this could mean and because of that that that's they put an end to this relationship with you which broke your heart but they're still not able to move on from it because this because this was a tower moment for them too so there like I said there's two different ways to read that um, I got a little off track from my original question, but it, 
I don't really see communication here. I, I, it's basically it's the same ending that I had with the other. It's almost the same re reading. I mean, the message is almost the same. So I think we're just in a loop here with this twin flame connection. Nothing new is happening. They're dealing with their stuff on their side. You know, they're probably dealing, yeah, because I didn't even, I don't think I even told you this, underneath this, <clears throat> excuse me, this very upset, volatile, angry, selfish queen of wands sits your person. I think he did love this person, maybe still does, but either either that he doesn't, he, the divine masculine, doesn't want to work on this relationship with this queen anymore or this queen has decided maybe this queen found out about you and she's decided she doesn't want to work on it with this with your with the divine masculine that could be because then it, they're walking away one of these people over here is walking away because of all this conflict and this heavy burden <clears throat> but that's what um is going on behind the scenes anyway your person's dealing with a lot i think and I know you are too with your three of swords here. Any final? Uh, no, I'm going to take this deck. Excuse me. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, my allergies are kicking up again. All right, let's see. Any final messages? They got this little deck. Uh, any final? Oh, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, don't forget, you are the Empress. Can you see that? Yeah. And then there's the little cards. Um, don't forget who you are and your self-worth. You are the Empress, and you can manifest. So I know these energies. We've got um, today's the 12-12 portal. That's a, that's a big thing. So th what I'm getting from this card was at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Be clear. Couldn't I? Could I knew it? I was thinking it. I was about to say, be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you're manifesting because you're going to get it. Two of Swords in Reverse means you're having clarity. It, it, you know, things are becoming clearer. You're going to get what you manifest here. So be clear with the universe about what you want from this person, and be clear what your standards are. I heard that too. Set your standards. You know, if you don't want to be involved in all this conflict over here with this person make that clear to the universe say I don't you know I don't want that I want something better I want someone who will commit to me and only me be sure that's the message that you're putting out to the universe okay gang well this was not meant to be a long reading I just like I said I pulled it offline and I thought what the heck I'll just hit the record button I hope it helps somebody out there. I think we're just in a holding pattern right now with if you want this person with your divine masculine. But hopefully that'll bring clarity for somebody out there. And I appreciate you watching so very much. Also remember I have other playlists, Deceased Loved Ones, uh, Scorpio Readings right now. Those are the three that I'm doing. So I appreciate if you check those out and hit that like button on the way out. I will be back again soon. Thank you all for watching. Many blessings. Bye-bye.